everyone, welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create a clickable PDF using InDesign. So last week I gave away this free materials list um, that has a bunch of links to all of the supplies that I used in my most recent class called Lettering Layouts. And as you can see, if I click on any one of these, I can bring up a link, a real link to a page on either my site. I've got products here um, that they link to, and I even have um, links at the bottom to social networks. So this is really great if you, for example, sell some digital products on Etsy, you can leave your links at the bottom so you can drive more traffic to your shop or your blog. Or it's also a great way to provide clients, if you freelance a lot, you can provide them a list of resources if it helps them out with their business and it makes you look really good at the same time. So I wanna walk you through exactly how I created this in InDesign. So right now I don't have blog blog is not clickable, Instagram is not clickable, and neither is YouTube. So I'm going to um, show you how to make these active and we'll test it at the end. And then this is an image right here, this, uh, my logo. So I'm going to show you how to also apply a link to an image. So we can apply links to text and we can also apply links to images. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those. So we're going to hop into InDesign. So this is my document right here. And if you don't have InDesign, I'll leave a link on my blog post um, and in the video description for a 30 day free trial. So you can and test it out and follow right along. Um, the font that I'm using for all of these, if you're interested, is called Gotham Book. It is a little pricey, but it's definitely um, well, probably one of the most popular fonts that exists, um, but it's just super readable. So that's why I have it here. Okay. So as you can see, I've got my little hyperlinks palette open here. And the way you can get to that is by going window, interactive, hyperlinks and it'll pop open. So right here, these are the links that I have active right now on here. So if I highlight um, one of the items, you can see it's going to highlight here. And if I double click on this, it pops it open and it tells me exactly where the location is. So if anyone clicks on it, this is the URL that it's going to point to. Okay, so down here, as you can see, I don't have anything. If I highlight blog, nothing's popping up over here. So we're gonna utilize this palette to add hyperlinks. So I'm gonna hit the link button right here, and I'm gonna choose URL from this link to area. So here's where I'm gonna put in my URL. My URL is actually HTTPS, and then I'm gonna type in my blog address, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna to go to Instagram and I'm gonna do the same thing just to reiterate um, Instagram.com slash every Tuesday. Hit OK. And then I'm gonna do my YouTube channel. And now I'm gonna grab my logo up here. So I'm just gonna select it. And then once again, I'm gonna hit this little link icon at the bottom of this palette. And I'm gonna choose and I'm gonna type in my blog address one more time. All right, so now we have everything in here. So one thing I do want to mention is whenever you're creating an interact, this is considered an interactive PDF, it's meant to be viewed on screen, which means you want to use the RGB um, color mode for this. So by default, InDesign is typically used as a print program. So it automatically is set to CMYK when you first create a document. So in order to make sure that all of your colors appear the way you would like them to appear on screen, you wanna make sure you have an RGB color mode for your document. So if you already have a document and you just need to convert it, this is how you do it. You go File, Document Setup, change the intent to web instead of print and just make sure um, it's not changing your page size. So I'm gonna go back to this and hit okay. So now it knows that I wanna use this for web. And then the last thing you wanna do is come over here and go edit transparency blend space and make sure document RGB is selected. So this is telling the program, consider all colors RGB. And then whenever you're using colors um, throughout your document, just make sure you're using the 
RGB color space in your color palette. If you toggle this down, you can choose RGB if yours is currently set to CMYK. So those are really important with an interactive PDF that's meant to be seen on screen. Okay, so now we have all of our links put in. We can see them right here. If you ever need to remove a link, like say I put in the wrong thing for blog right here, all you have to do is hit the trash can and it'll delete it. And then you just start over. So now it's gone and I can hit the link again. Okay, so now we need this to be saved out. So we're gonna go File, and we're gonna export this time. So whenever you typically create a PDF in InDesign that's meant to be printed, you'll come over here and go Adobe PDF Presets, and you'll choose one of these. But whenever you have links that need to be clickable, it's really important that you hit Export, otherwise it won't work. So hit Export, and then choose where you want it to go. So I'm gonna just call this Example. And then down here, this is really important, where it says Format, you wanna choose Adobe PDF Interactive. I think it defaults to Adobe PDF Print. Just make sure it's changed to Interactive right here, and then hit Save. Now this menu will pop up. I always like checking View after exporting, so as soon as we hit OK, it's gonna pop it open after it finishes saving, so you can test it right away. You don't have to go and find the file and then test it. So I like having this checked. Um, these are just the default settings, so I keep everything else the same. And then down here for resolution, depending on where this is going, since it is being viewed on screen, um, I like keeping my resolution on the lower side. I don't typically go all the way to 72, just because if I have any images, I want them to look super crisp still. Um, so I usually don't go higher than 144. So I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's gonna pop it open. And I'll, all I have to do is come over here and you can see now I've got my little little hand and I can click on the logo and it's gonna pop me right up to my blog. And down here I can click on blog and it's popping open. And let's try Instagram and that's working. And we'll try YouTube and that's working as well. So that's how to create a clickable PDF using InDesign. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.